Hi, this is King David, David and Goliath Music, BeatClass.com, and this is going to be a really quick tutorial that's going to teach you how to find the tempo in samples. Let's say you want to import a sample. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my sound browser. I'm going to pick a sample that I already have. Okay, um, I have a My Music folder and I have tons of samples here. So I'll just go ahead and choose any sample that I want. Uh, all right, let's say the Beamer Benza Bentley mastered sample that I have. All right, you guys already saw that. Many of you have bought the tutorial. Thank you so much. Now, let's see if we can get the tempo from this song. All right. Now, very simply, all we have to do is go to the channel settings for the sampler um, by left clicking on that uh, channel down here to the sample itself. Just right click and then you'll see reload, save as, edit and detect tempo. Left click on detect tempo. Now it's going to ask you, please select the tempo range in BPM. BPM stands for beats per minute. The sample is the most likely to be in or choose to keep the tempo uh, of this sample currently as it is. All right. So here's what I would say. By rule of thumb, always go from 75 to 150. Start in the center. All right. Chances are you're going to hit something within that range. Left click. Now watch what happens. It's going to tell you here favorite and it's going to give you a BP BPM approximation. Now what it's saying is that it has a detected the BPM to be at 80 beats per minute. And that's exactly the tempo. So we're going to hit yes. All right. Now here's how we can verify if that was actually true. What we're going to do is we're going to drag this audio, left click, drag it into the playlist, hit stop so it doesn't play. Then we're going to put our metronome on and we can see that the tempo is set at 80 already. All right. Now let's hit play and see if it works out with the metronome. Um, we have to be in song mode first. Uh huh. All right. There we go. Song mode. hear that it's perfectly in time. Alright, so now we can go ahead and add whatever else we want to add to it. Drums, anything, because we have it locked in at the tempo that it's supposed to be in. All right, and that's just a quick tutorial just to show you how you can find the tempo. There's other ways you can do that, for instance, using the tap feature. Uh, that's just one way that you can continue to improve your music production game using FL Studio. Keep in mind now, over at Fruity Loops University, we're really growing into a great community. Um, we're teaching all different softwares now, Cubase, Adobe Edition. Uh, we have a Pro Tools instructor, and we are growing as a community and really teaching you the truth about music production. The benefit of being a member over at FruityLoopsUniversity.com is that it's a very positive environment. Um, because people pay a tuition, there's not a lot of games and a lot of negative energy. All right, and that's the benefit of having a paying site is because the people that are coming are actually serious about their music production. So you kind of thin out the herd and you get around the very best of the best. All right, King David, David Goliath, MusicBeatClass.com. One love.